You haven't seen me post a video on this channel for quite some time. That's because I've been busy with a few projects, both VR and AR. One of the things I've been busy with is something you may have heard of, the VRLA Mixed Reality Easter Egg Hunt. This year, VRLA was big, about twice as large as the last show. On the show floor were a lot of your typical displays, positionally tracked VR, game demos, simulator cockpits, and that kind of stuff. And then of course there was our exhibit, a 30 by 30 styrofoam forest that when walked through with a HoloLens revealed a fantasy world of floating virtual eggs, butterflies, bunnies, and flowers, all properly occluded by the world with true mixed reality. You had three minutes to find and open all of the eggs. When the experience ended, your group gathered by the tree to take a mixed reality picture alongside all the eggs and creatures in the forest. If you found all of the eggs before time was up, there were still flowers to bloom, animals to interact with, and plenty of other stuff to do. The demand to see this exhibit was huge. The line grew to over a three hour wait by the middle of the second day. When attendees finished the experience, they always had great things to say, and we saw a lot of smiles on people's faces. It really did seem to prove mixed reality could be used for far more exciting projects than enterprise construction and defense, which are your typical demos you see for this type of technology. So how do we make this crazy thing? John Root at VRLA pitched me the idea of making a mixed reality Easter egg hunt using HoloLens late last year. I was pretty sure it could be done, but not exactly sure how to do it. It wasn't until sometime in late February that we actually got the green light to build the experience. So it's kind of amazing that we pulled this off in such a short amount of time. The first thing to do was to figure out how to build the set. We knew it had to be a forest, and we also knew the size because the VRLA booth had a predetermined shape. Mike Murdock at Trihelix designed the N64 stylized forest in a 3D modeling program and then tested it out in virtual reality using the Vive to make sure it fit inside the confines of a 30 by 30 conference booth. This design was then given to Fonco Studios, a Hollywood set, prop, and special effects company, where they adapted it to be constructed out of literally a ton of painted styrofoam. While this was going on, we had to design and develop the app. I started prototyping the mechanics in my studio, but eventually we need to try this on set. So with only a week to go before the show, we set up a makeshift office at Fonco to test our app on the partially finished set while they constructed the rest of it. By the middle of that week, the set was sliced up in chunks, put on a truck, and shipped to the LA Convention Center. It was here that we did our final touch. In order to do the final placement of all the objects in the world, we needed an accurate model of the environment. Until that point, we were using the 3D design reference mesh of the environment that Mike Murdock made. Many changes to this design have been made to make it possible to construct. We also needed this model to do proper occlusion. Although the HoloLens generates an occlusion mesh on the fly, the process is time consuming and the mesh isn't super accurate. To solve this problem, we had a LiDAR scan done of the set once it was finally complete. My art director, Nathan Fulton, retopologized it and we ended up having an efficient 3000 polygon mesh to use as an occluder to guide and place all the virtual objects. This totally nailed the experience. With proper occlusion, the virtual objects really felt anchored to the space. Anyway, there's lots more to tell about the making of this experience. You might catch more of it in some upcoming talks I'm working on, and I've got at least one more video on the way with some more info, testimonials, and interviews about the project. Stay tuned to this channel for updates on this and my other stuff. Ha, ha, ha.